This one, I think we all kind of knew about. But we'll go ahead and pull it up. Dodd put in here, let's not forget the Pac-12 had its chance to bolster its ranks last year when the Big 12 was wounded by the exits of Texas and Oklahoma to the SEC. Uh, sources told CBS this week the Pac-12 vote was 8-4 to four against taking any Big 12 schools. Now, Carol Folt, we, we saw this earlier in the week. Carol Folt was uh, the, the US pres- or USC president, excuse me, uh, shut down interest in expansion, right? And, and that, of course, becomes ironic because w- did she know that they were planning on moving over to the Big Ten and they didn't want the Pac-12 to expand? You know, all these different questions. Uh, one of the Big 12 ADs told CBS Sports that we all would have jumped. After Texas and Oklahoma, there was panic. Uh, much the same way that a lot of people were talking about Pac-12 teams looking to join the Big 12 right after USC and UCLA leave, it's because you don't know what the stability of your current conference is. When it, come, when it came to the Big 12, Bob Bowlesby absolutely believed that the conference was worth half as much, if not less than, without Oklahoma and Texas. Well, with the Pac-12, they chose not to take any of those schools from the Big 12, and now it appears that the Big 12's contract could actually be worth more than the Pac-12, right? The Big 12 worth more than the Pac-12. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about all the different negotiations and whatnot that are going on right now, but yeah, this is uh, this is interesting stuff. Interesting stuff, because... They had the opportunity, as we've said many times, to take some of the Big 12 schools. They were looking to get out of the Big 12. And the Pac-12 decided that they did not believe any of them were worth actually taking. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.